Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use um, Burp Sweep's Turbo Intruder to regressively match or grip stuff from a response. Okay, let's get to it. This should be a short video, hopefully. Uh, so I'm on the, um, the Port Suite, uh, Port Wiggers um, Labs, one of the labs here. And then, first of all, you should know how to, you should know how to um, connect your um, Burp Suite. So let's close this. Burp Suite in your browser. So I'm gonna turn on Intercept. Intercept is on over here. It's connected to my Burp Suite. It should already be done. So I'm just gonna type in the password and I'm gonna hit login and now it's captured. Now I'm just gonna send this to the repeater because I don't wanna keep this Intercept on all the time. Like if you, why keep it on? So I'm just gonna keep sending the repeater. And now, now that I send a repeater, I have a copy of this. I no longer need to keep it on. If you look at the page, it goes, oh, too many incorrect logins. But this is not, not the point. The point is I'm trying to show you how to regressively grip information. Okay, so let's go here. Let's go to repeater. And we're not going to work in the repeater. We're going to send this directly to, first of all, you should get this extension. Um, so if you, you should know how to, and this, this video is not to show you how to get the extension, but the extension here is Turbo Intruder. And so I'm going to go to Turbo Intruder from the extension. And uh, yeah, now I am in Turbo Intruder, and right now I'm going to go to multiple parameters. Because more like more likely than not, you're going to have multiple parameters, and you as you want to deal with that. Just so you know, these are all examples. You can actually make what, your own code, and and this is all Python. I recognize I'm a very big a big Python fan. So py, this is all Python here. Again, first of all, you want to do is you want to use concurrent. Concurrent means the how many times like. You know how many connections at a time. Like you do only one connection at a time because you're, you're regressively gripping or matching something. Now here's a trick. This is what got me stumped for the longest time. You're gonna have to make a copy of this, or more likely that. Yeah, this. Yep, copy that. Just copy it. Copy this, and you stick it down here. There we go. Tap that in, tap that in, then over here, you get rid, of the, get rid of these fours, there we go, and uh, over here for the first word, let's put like a blank string, and over here for the second word, let's put another, another blank string. And uh, let's make a third one, another third. We're gonna have three parameters that we're gonna regressively, regressive. Third parameter we're gonna regressively grip. Okay, so we have three. So that's good, right? Here, uh, let's say you want um. Let's say this is your first, or let's say your second. You need a percentage s. Don't ask me why it's percentage s. That's how it is. Percentage s. And uh, let's say I want to regressively grip something. I don't know, some sort of code or... doesn't matter what it is. I'm just going to write them like just a, a random X forward. X forwarded. This is to bypass the IP. And let's say just a random. doesn't matter what it is. It could be anything. So I'm going to put on a percentage S here. There we go. So three spots. Here, here, and here. This here, I'm just gonna grab some random detail from the response and put it there. And here and here, um, maybe I'm just gonna use a list for this one and maybe a, from a file for this one. Okay, so uh, let's go here. Let's say for the first one, I want to use, I don't know, a file. Okay, so let's do that. So for here, so I'm using Windows. So let me just go to my Windows. I have a whole bunch of tests here. So here's, um, I guess this is just a test, a bunch of words here. I need the path to this. So I'm just going to right click here, go to properties. Here's the path. I'm just going to copy that. Let's close this. Let's go back to burps, uh, burp intruder. Oops. There we go. And I am going to paste it inside here. Now there's a trick though. 
apparently, if you're if you want to do that, you're gonna have to use double slashes for all of them. I'm trying to figure out why it wasn't working, but apparently, you're gonna use double slashes. And let's say for the second one, I don't know. Let's say I want to use um, I don't know, a list. Okay, a copy list here. Let's say a. Um, B and let's say C. Okay, so we have that. And um, for every response, oh, for uh, if you want, there are times you may you may need to um, you may need to import R E. This is a uh, regular expressions. And over here. Just so you know, okay, I'm, I'm, well, I'm going to show you something interesting, um, just so you guys know. If you guys want to know what Rec, Rec has a whole bunch of options in here. Um, if you want to know what those options are, like, there's no output. And the problem, if there's no output, then how are you going to figure out how you're going to test this? So if you need to test this out, uh, I would suggest you do this. Do with, open, and just open a random file on your on your, um, on your your hard drive somewhere. So let's, uh, on your C, colon. And it's just called test T X or test test one. Doesn't matter. You can call it anything you want. I'm just gonna write to it. This is just a test there. I'm gonna comment this out and as f out. And over here, I'm just gonna write down f out write. And now you can sort of like test what you need to test. Uh, it probably needs to be a string. You know, just to be on the safe side, let's just make it a string. Here and um, so, if you want to find all the options for rec, I would suggest you do is type in dir bracket brackets and then rec inside here. Okay, let's uh, let's close this up here. And um, when you run this, it would write to this file here, and you can look inside for all the options. This is the only way you can get an output. I, I, there might be another way, but this is the only way I know how to get an output from from what's going on here. So you guys can do that. Um, okay, let's still comment this out for now. And let's go back here. And let's say you want to regressive, re regressively regrip a response. So, oh. Yes, what you have to do here is you have to type in REQ for the engine, and that's it. That's all you need to do. <coughs> let's just put X here. Okay, so let's say um, X. Let's make this bigger so you can see. There you go. X equals RE find all. Here we go. And what I want to put here is that'll be our code, our uh, regret, our regular expression code. And over here will be well, first needs to be a string, and this should be rec, and there'll be um, response. Because you look up here, it says uh, response. This is from the response. R E S P um, response. There we go. So it's from the response, and then we'll, we're searching for something. So what we want to search for, I don't. It could be anything. Maybe it's a CRF. So let's say C C C S R F. Because if you look, okay, let's take a look at the let's take a look at the website. Um, let's go to the um, inspect element, and let's say you want to regressively grip. I don't know, anything. It could be anything. Let's look, look at the form. Let's say you want to regressively, regressively grip. I don't know. Let's say this case warning. Peak. Oh, I actually use something more specific. How about this one? This looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to edit the HTML. There we go. Let's just copy all of, let's say, all of this. Control C. Okay, that's all we need. So let's go back to Intruder, and let's just paste that into this uh, string here. 
let's say uh, you want to regress you have something specific here. Oh, it's using double quotes. You got to be careful with the, the quotes there. So I'm using, I'm using quotes here because there's double quotes inside. Because it has to be exact. And let's say you want to get, I don't know, it doesn't matter what it is. Let's say you want to get this specific value inside here. So what you can do is you can put a bracket, bracket, in the year you're making a group. And then I believe you can use dot, dot means any character. And then the plus sign means one or more. And uh, yeah, so that's what it's going to do. And X will bring out a list. I believe it should always be the first, uh, the first option. Like, if you need to, again, if you need to know what the output is, you can always write, uh, write it out into a file, and then you just look at the file after you run it. So I believe it's the first one. So this is list. I'm just gonna put bracket bracket zero because that's the first option in the list, and that's it. I believe that is all you need to do. Okay, let's try. It. Let's run it and see if it works. Oh, looks like there is a problem. Okay, let me hold this. Okie dokie, so I found the issue. Uh, this has to be perfectly aligned. If it's not aligned properly, it's not doesn't work. Of course, it's Python it, alignment is important. Also here, this has to be a list. I, I'm actually just pointing to the desktop. There's a file on my desktop called test.txt. Uh, there we go. And over here, it's regressively gripping, but if, it's, if, it doesn't, if it doesn't find a match, then it returns an empty string. So, but the point is, you know how, you know, you know how to use, um, you know, um, regex. So I'm just going to put a random value there just to show you that it works. So let's say put X or Z or anything, or, um, I don't know. Let's, yeah, let's just use X or whatever, whatever it could be. Just use a, just use a simple string, just for demonstration purposes. So let's say one, or just like a, a, a counter, it doesn't matter. The whole point is, you, you should be able to, this part here, if you know Python programming, then um, then you should be able to get this to work. And if I hit attack, and it goes. Oh, this is not working again. It was working earlier. Okay, fun issue. Apparently, you cannot open a file from this location. But you can, however, uh, use a list. Let's say um, a. So you can just copy and paste your list here, B, and so on. So apparently up here you can open files, but down here apparently you can't open files. Again, this is a work in progress. I just figured out, figured this out yesterday. Hit it attack, then it starts going off like that. Take a look here, and this 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 is forever. It keeps on going and on and on, so it doesn't stop. And um, yeah, and that's it. That's all you need to know.